If you're a Game of Thrones fan, Dubrovnik is a fantastic place to visit filming locations from the show. With its red rooftops, castles, and walled harbor, you'll recognize this as King's Landing, the capital of the Seven Kingdoms. The show is shot in locations throughout Europe, but Dubrovnik is most recognizable for King's Landing. It's so cool to be walking through here where they actually filmed these scenes. I mean, I feel like I'm just transported back to that time. From this area here, you actually can see eight different filming locations. I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I've read all the books, I've seen the episodes. I was very excited to see that there was a tour available, and it was great. It was everything I hoped it would be and more. This terrace was where they had the battles during Joffrey's name day. Joffrey takes Sansa to show her the place where her They gave information about Dubrovnik, but then also the whole scenes where it was all shot here. It's a really great tour. Whoa, look at this. Even if you're not a Game of Thrones fan, this place is spectacular. You can upgrade your experience to visit Tristano Arboretum, the location for King's Landing's gardens. It's so green and beautiful here, and the views are incredible. This is Lavrianat's Fortress, an 11th century castle, which you may remember from the Battle of Blackwater. This is the end of the Walk of Shame, where Cersei walks through the prop doors, is picked up by the mountain, and they walk away into the darkness. End scene. This tour is a must for Game of Thrones fans. Not only is our guide super knowledgeable, but I actually felt like I was at King's Landing and could have rubbed shoulders with a Lannister. I can't wait to rewatch the show and spot some of the locations we saw today.